Hello my dear Aries, how are you? Welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the month of March. I am hoping that you are well, happy, safe. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sabbath. Welcome to Sabbath Tarot. I'm very happy to be here with you, dear. Today we're going to be asking in regards to any advice, okay, from the spirit for you for the current situation that you are in. That was my speaker, if you heard that. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Spirit, what is the energy for Aries? What are the messages? What is the current energy and any advice for the month of March for Aries Spirit? What is happening, please, Spirit? Any advice? Oh, wow, is that the fool I'm saying? Queen of Wands. And one more card we have for you is the Death card. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the World Aries. Such beautiful energy, very heavenly. So let's get started. First of all, I feel like there's going to be a lot happening, okay, for the next few weeks. There could be a lot of messages, communication, invitations, opportunities. I feel like right now, Aries, you're really surrounded by a lot of different options, you know, and opportunities. It's almost like the spirit here is telling you you are free to manifest whatever it is that you want and really do not restrict yourself. Really do not put a limit in regards to how much you can have or how how much you are able to manifest within your life okay now i do feel like there is such energy of being the moment okay as advice is something i'm hearing for you aries being the moment really enjoy your experiences right now okay maybe be open to experiencing new things okay discovering this could be speaking of going on an adventure this could be saying yes to a particular invitation some of you i'm also hearing dates so there could be a lot of dates here coming up for you there could be people asking to let's say um, invite you somewhere or hang out with you this also could be work related people might want to work with you here or it's almost like people want to include you in something, okay? Whether it's because you're very creative, you're very talented, you could be very useful in a particular community is something I'm hearing. But I feel like it's going to be just in regards to opportunities the month of March for you, okay? Now, what is very interesting, Aries, is that... I see you really wearing that crown, okay? I see you really being in your power. And there's an energy of nothing can stop me. Nothing can hold me back from where I need to be, all right? It's almost like you have a sense of self-respect and you know who you are. And it doesn't matter if other people don't know who you are. You yourself know who you are, you know? And you will give yourself the respect. You will give yourself the attention and the value which you deserve. You do not necessarily need to seek it on the outside, right? So there's a very, very strong energy of confidence, strong energy of power here that you're in right now that is surrounding you. One thing for sure, I feel like you're staying away from energies that make you feel like you're not enough, make you doubt in regards to your value, in regards to how much you're worth. Now, I don't know whether this could be speaking of some past energies that you're letting go, Aries, or particular connections that no longer just do it for you, but I have a sense that you're letting go and releasing any type of energy that makes you doubtful, that makes you feel uncertain, makes you feel anxious, you know. This also could be energies that are rather draining to you, energies that don't necessarily have much to offer you, people that don't necessarily know how to <laughs> add to your life, you know. I definitely feel like you're releasing some energies here and you're really beginning to put yourself first here, okay, for this month. Now, one thing that's really interesting here is that there's a sense of transformation when it comes to your energy, Aries. I feel like you're transforming and you're really, I'm hearing the word powerhouse, you're really not afraid to move forward, okay? You're not afraid to rather 
say goodbye to the past, okay? There's a lot of letting go energy here and I feel like it's almost like you need to be able to let go to be able to start anew, to be able to begin a new chapter of your life, okay? So I don't know if you might have been going through such release energy recently um, or this also could be speaking of shedding, you know? You know how snakes shed, I'm visualizing a snake for you. It could be that definitely you're ready now. You're ready to get out of the cocoon. You're ready to <laughs> start this beautiful new life of yours, all right, with the world being here. Now, I'm definitely going to be clarifying for you, Aries, to see what's happening, all right? You're very, very abundant, okay? I can just tell. It's like when one door closes, the other one opens, or it's like in, if one connection is not working out, there's another connection coming for you. You know, there's that type of an energy. Or it's like if one person is not necessarily giving you what you want, another person will. All right, so really be open in regards to your options is something I'm hearing. Now, do we have any advice for Aries, almost that Scorpio? Do we have any advice? Anything in regards to love, some of you I'm hearing you could be asking. Spirit, any messages in regards to love do we have? <laughs> Oh, wow. We have a Knight of Wands. Five of Cups was your first card in the Hangman. I see. Um, if I were to be honest with you, Aries, I feel like you're no longer ignoring what's out there for you. Okay? I feel like... You're no longer putting your whole life on pause just because something might have not been working out. Or this also could be if someone was not able to give you what you've been wanting. You know, there's an energy of nothing can stop me. I'm not going to waste my time anymore. I'm not going to put my whole life on hold. Um, I'm not going to be expecting, you know, my happiness and put it all into someone's hands. I'm going to be rather pleasing myself you know, and getting out there. So there's an energy of action here. I do see a person coming in. <laughs> I do feel like there's a person coming through. They could have water within their chart and fires coming through Pisces as well. We take it as it resonates. It doesn't have to be. One thing for sure is that this person could be really spontaneous. And I also feel like there could be a very strong chemistry you both have together. There's a strong energy of compatibility. This person really is very active. I don't know why I'm hearing the word active. I don't know if this person always is, let's say, working out. They're always busy doing things. They're always on adventures. Maybe this person travels a lot, you know, but I feel like their energy very much matches yours. You know, it's like you both are seeking the same things. You both are rather big achievers. You're always looking forward to the next big thing you're going to be doing. All I can say is that this person is here to bring you such positivity, all right, in regards to the connection that you two are going to have. And to be honest, I do feel like it's something that you've been desiring. I feel like you're done with sadness. You're done with people that, you know, let you down or disappoint you. And I feel like it's all in regards to choices. The spirit here is telling you, you are in control to make the choice. You are in control of all the decisions you're making in your life and take responsibility for that, you know. Um, you don't have to say yes if you don't want to say yes, rather, right? So choices, 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 hey. Now, I'm going to be seeing if there's any angel messages for you, okay? If there's any oracle messages for our dear Aries. I love that Seven of Cups energy for you, actually. I feel like you're beginning to really see, wow, there's so much out there for me here, you know, and I'm going to be trying my best to enjoy my life as it is, you know, and be open to all this beautiful energy, but it's really time for all the manifestations of yours here, you know, you can be very focused on your manifestations right now, the things that you want to call in. Do we have any angel messages for our dear Aries, please? I'm hearing there's a person you can look up to. I don't know what that means. Some of you, there could be a connection that's really hopeful. There's a person that gives you a lot of hope, that gives you a lot of energy, or 
encourages you, you know, to move forward. Um, I certainly feel like this is someone who's joining you along your path. Very fast moving energy as well. Any angel messages do we have to spread for our dear Aries? Anything Aries? Wow, yes, needs to know right now. <gasps> we have a happy change and embrace those around you. I'm going to read both of these beautiful cards for you. Number 10. Your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. Yes, the spirit here is telling you that there is a huge change that's occurring in your life. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is in regards to you opening yourself up. This is in regards to you seeing that there are good people out there for you. Um, that there are people that want to help you. There are people that want to make you happy. You know, um, maybe you're surrounding yourself with good people, with people that love you and care for you, you know, people that have something to add to you. I feel like there's a strong energy of connections here for you for the month of March. We also have embraced those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. I was just saying. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. So all the spirit here is telling you, Aries, is that there is a lot of new energy that's going to be surrounding you. Maybe there's new places that you're going to. Um, and there's going to be people that are going to really be kind to you. Okay, it's almost like you're being shown a particular new pathway that has a lot of love and affection in store for you, you know, and the spirit here is telling you that you are being looked after and that you're going to be in good hands. I don't know why I'm hearing it like that, but it could be that you're matching with people that are really out there for you, that watch out for you, you know, people that want to embrace you. Um, I don't see necessarily just one energy, but definitely it could be just one person, you know, who's also romantically getting close to you. You take it as it resonates, but specifically, I feel like you're just going to be surrounded by a lot of love and protection. And it's something that you are deciding that I do want this, that I've been craving this, that I've been desiring this and manifesting this and it's finally happening. Okay. So this is all I have for you, my dear Aries. I hope that this helps you. I am doing personal readings for the month of March. If interest to send me an email it's in the description box below. And you can now follow me on Instagram and also my new channel, Vista. All the links are in the description box. Sending my kiss. Mm -hmm. My warm race and my love and light. Take care and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye, darling.